Today's quick video tutorial is about Teachable and how to set up your uh, Teachable profile to start creating and selling courses online. It's similar to lynda.com and udemy.com. It is free to start. Uh, it's a pretty cool tool and it's very simple and the rules are probably not as stringent as the other two so it's a good place to get your feet wet and learn how to set up courses online. So I'm going to be doing this in a series and the first one is about setting up your course, uh, setting up your profile and then we'll talk about um, how to create and set up your courses in future videos and tutorials. So before I get started let me just show you around Teachable. So Teachable is really cool because it gives you some examples of some other teachers who are doing very well on Teachable. And I just simply clicked on the examples at the top. So these are some uh, creators. This one is Jessica Sprague. Um, and she talks about digital scrapbooking. Very cool. So that's the page that they show you. They don't really give you her course link. They just kind of show you the um, um, a screenshot of it. And then this is Dave Cross who teaches Photoshop and he's done very well and Rachel Neighbors who also uh, does cartooning so she teaches people how to create cartoons and um, you can see hers is a little bit more um, complex or as I should say uh, filled with content so I really like hers as a good example and then you can uh, click out of there you can go to features and see all of the things that you can do. You can brand your school. You can set up custom na domain names. Um, it's The site is fully optimized. They actually host your courses. But when you set it up, you completely own the content. So if you decide you don't want to use this, this uh, platform any longer, you can download all your own content and use it on another platform, which is really nice. Um, it has a page editor for your courses, HTML for those who are good with HTML, uh, multimedia, etc. So it gives you a lot of different op options. Um, and then the next thing is pricing, which is really also wonderful because you can create free courses. It doesn't remove the online branding, but it does um, give you the option of creating unlimited courses and students. You can have email, you can use their email marketing system. Um, it shows the learner progress tracking and e-commerce similar to uh, what Udemy does because Udemy has you create several small uh, courses and then you can go in and uh, see how many people complete a course how far they got along in the course, if they completed a course, or if they only took a couple of, of the modules, etc. So that's it's similar in that way. I wanted to take you back to the home page to just show you a couple of uh, different things that they show. Um, you can actually go, which is what I like, you can actually go and view Angela's course website. So you can see all the courses that Angela Fair has on watercolor. You can see what she charges to get an idea of what that looks like. Uh, you can actually click on her free courses. So we'll click on one of her free courses and see how beautiful and simple the, the um, platform is and really easy to do. So you actually create a page similar to this for your course. You can look at uh, all courses, her courses, you can read testimonials, etc. So we're going to go back to the home page of, of Teachable and we're going to click on some others. You can see all of all of these courses. So what I would recommend before you even set up your first course is to go through some of the courses and see how they're done. Take a couple of the free course courses and just check out what's available. Joanna Penn, I love her. She's a she t talks a lot about um, writing, so she's really interesting. Um, and you can see all of, a lot of the people and what they're doing. You don't need to have any coding experience. You can customize your own logos. You can import your text, images, audio, etc. You can even upload 
content from your Udemy course to here. So that's really another great benefit. And of course, read the testimonials. You can see they have close to 40,000 courses now on Teachable, uh, over a million students, and they've, they've made over $8 million in revenue. So this is really great. Um, and the other thing is, when you try, let's go back to the pricing for a second. They charge a transaction fee for every course, and you can see it's uh, from 30 cents to 2.9 per transaction. They also charge a course fee, which is a percentage of the course. Um, so, and it you get you get paid more when you have a higher um, level. So, if you're a professional, then they charge a lot less for people who sign up for your course and they charge a lot more for the free. But the free is good to get started as I said so we're going to go in and we're going to create a for, create a free course. We're actually going to go in and actually just sign up today. So I'm going to sign up with my name and I'm going to change my, my um, email because I don't want to use that. And then I'm going to name my school um, Marketing Online. So I'm calling my school Easy Online Marketing to start with. And of course, you can change your school name later. So that's just to get started. So I'm going to create the new school. And of course, if it's not available, it would tell you. So it's available. Yay! So in the next, in the next, pro, oh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm teaching, but not online. I'm already teaching online. And what have I used? Um, it's not on here. I'll say WordPress. Actually, I'm using YouTube. So we'll say YouTube. Um, my number one goal is to build my brand online, create a course marketplace, customer training, lead generation. I'm not sure yet. Build my brand online. So do you have an audience? Yes. And you just put in your audience. What kind of courses do you plan on teaching? And it, and it, it will give you some choices. I'm not going to do IT and software, so I'm going to do marketing. And then I'm going to enter my school. So it's a pretty simple way to get started. And then this is the teachable school back end. And the next video, we're going to talk about that and how to use it.